Yeah, good morning, guys, and welcome. Uh, up on the screen, uh, the Bahavali beggar made the decision to go 100% full steam ahead. Uh, in a recent video, an unboxing uh, that he uploaded. Um, but before we start, guys, I just want to say that uh, in the past we have referred to the Bahavali as a shack. And quite clearly on this thumbnail, you can see pointed out why we call it a shack. Uh, the Bahavali is open to the elements and there's all kinds of critters crawling all over the place. And look at the back door. Uh, it's covered in render. Um, this is uh, a fine example of a successful farmer, a successful vlogger, how they live in the Philippines. Uh, any expat that I know of would be ashamed to switch on that uh, camera and show the Bahavel to the world. But we are dealing with the uh, clap the clan, aren't we? Anyway, uh, back to the video. Uh, Boss Og uploaded a unboxing video. And at the start, he made this statement. So, as many of you know, uh, made the decision to uh, absolutely go 100% uh, full speed ahead on the farm here to get it uh, to where it needs to be. And uh, in the interest of doing that, we've been uh, on an ordering spree uh, from shopping to uh, get the things that I think we need to make this farm as productive as it can possibly be. So there you heard him. Um, he's made his decision to go full steam ahead to get this uh, farm where it needs to be. And uh, in the process of that, he's been on a uh, shopping spree. And uh, he's ordered uh, things online from Shopee. Uh, and in that box uh, are the things that are going to help him get that farm to full production. So the question is this, Brian. What is in the box? Take a look at this. Uh, taco seasoning. Uh, fried chicken seasoning. Uh, any for a while. Uh, more taco seasoning. Uh, some Italian seasoning, um, just to simplify things, or some pizza pie seasoning. And that's all the uh, spices. So we'll put those in storage. Also ordered a, a big bottle of red hot, hot sauce. And uh, because we're such big fans of the jalapeno uh, pepper sauce, we just got a different kind, which is about a third the price of, of the uh, Macalini's. Part of the thing here is that, you know, I'm going to have to be going to check on the tilapia pins at night. Uh, so I ordered some flashlights. So let's test drive one of these. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good light. So there you heard him, guys. Um, uh, uh, yes, it's a good torch, he says. What a, <laughs> what a dumbass, eh? What a good torch. He's going to need a torch for the tilapia. And so far, he's taken eight items out of that box. And not one of them is going to do anything uh, to get that farm into full production. So what was the reason of this video, Brian? 13 minutes long, and you led your simpletons uh, down this road. Uh, because there's a punchline coming, isn't there, Brian? There's a very good reason why this video was uploaded uh, so guys I want you to look at this next clip and uh, listen to what boss all has to say the budget gives something the trolls to talk about to uh, finish up to follow up what I've started here 
um, look, we still need that little trailer. And it's still there, and it's still for sale. And I had, I was like 99% we were just going to go buy it uh, like a week ago. But Maricel is going to take a little more convincing uh, because it's such a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big undertaking, and not just with the trailer. The trailer has to be um, reworked, it needs new tires, and it needs this stuff in this box as well. So on that clip there, guys, straight away he says, this will give uh, the troll something to talk about. And you're right there, Brian, because every time you're e-begging, we're going to call you out. He knew exactly what road he was going down. He knew exactly what he was going to say. And that's why he mentioned the trolls. Uh, the trailer he's buying uh, needs uh, reworking. It needs uh, new tyres and uh, this, that and the other. He's already putting out their seeds for an e-bag. But there's more guys. Have a listen to this. Anyway. I ordered this, uh, this is the receiver, the uh, hitch for the trailer and the ball are on the way, um, I'm just taking it apart here and, and looking at it, you know, the pins are still here, um, this is just the receiver that would have to be welded onto the truck trucks up here. Um, I got this adjustable one because I think that's kind of important. Uh, this just slides over the top like that and you can adjust uh, the hitch height on your trailer. So we'll know within a couple weeks uh, whether or not uh, we're going to have the money to um, complete the whole trailer process. If not, then I've got and I think this was like 750 pesos, something like that. If not, we've uh, spent $15 for that. So there you are, guys. He's bought the uh, tow bar and the hookup for the uh, trailer uh, and the truck. And yet, he hasn't got the trailer. And he hasn't got the trailer because he hasn't got the budget for it. Yet, here he is making an unboxing. Uh, doing a video uh, telling everyone that um, these are the items I bought that are going to make this uh, farm 100% productive and not one thing in that box including that uh, tow bar has got anything to do with making that farm productive but the important thing and the punchline was I hope you heard him say uh, in a few weeks uh, we'll know whether we have the budget to buy that trailer and if not uh, I've spent that money for nothing so loosely translated what he's trying to say is hey look guys uh, I've bought this stuff uh, I need a simpleton to step forward uh, feel sorry for me pity me Brian send me the money send me the cash so I can go and buy that trailer. And once I've got that trailer, uh, I'll be in full production. But it does beg a question here. A few questions, in fact. If you are so successful at farming, Brian, and so successful a uh, uh, vlogger, uh, why is it you do not know whether you will have the budget in two weeks or not? Why haven't you got a bank balance? Why do you not know how much pesos you have in your back pocket or how much cash you have from your farm? Why is that? Why is it that every video you upload, it surrounds lack of budget? And if you've ever watched a video of a Old Tintin. Tintin used to do the same thing. He used to start a project and he used to come out with a statement saying uh, we started on a leap of faith. A leap of faith that donators were going to step in and donate 
to their project. And this is what the fat lump of lad, e-begging scumbag, from the Bohovel, is done in this video. He wants someone to come forward uh, within the next two weeks, if possible, uh, and provide the money so he can go out and buy that trailer. And here's another thing that uh, his supporters do not realise, uh, they've not caught on to, is the fact that the fields, the farm itself, is so overgrown with weeds and trash that to clean those fields, uh, to get everything planted, is going to take months. Months before the next harvest. So this lump of lard will always be chasing the peso. He will never ever be in full production because he's constantly behind on any maintenance on that farm. And the reason being, he's not a farmer. And I'll say it again, he hasn't got a budget. So guys, in this video, uh, yet again, uh, Brian Granville Smith has stepped forward and uh, shown himself to be an e-becking scumbag. So till the next time, bye for now.